Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to generate load combinations and specify analysis commands in the STAD Pro Analytical Modeler. In this particular video, we will show you how to generate your load combinations and specify a P delta analysis command. Let's go ahead and get started with our load combinations. In STAD Pro, you have the ability to generate two different types of load combinations. You can create a traditional load combination where a set of load results will be combined algebraically to produce a superimposed set of results for post-processing, or you can create a repeat load case. A repeat load case is basically a primary load case that uses combinations of previously defined primary load cases. Now, if you're planning on performing any type of second order analysis, including a P-delta analysis, a direct analysis, or if you have a model that contains tension only or compression only members, it is very important that you generate repeat style load cases to ensure that the second order effects are captured in the reactions and stresses on your members. Now for this video, I will be using a model that's been already been created in the STAD Pro Analytical Modeler. This model contains dead load, live load, and two different wind load cases. I'm at the point in my workflow where I'm ready to generate my load combinations, and since I'm preparing to perform a P-delta analysis, I'm going to generate repeat style load cases. To do that, I will go to the Loading tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, click on the Automatic combinations icon and select the automatic load combinations option. In this dialog, I will then select the code I intend on using, which for this video will be the ASCE 716 standard, and I will select the combination category. For this particular model, I will eventually be designing the steel members for the LRFD design method, and my typical live load is less than 100 PSF, so I select this first category. Now before clicking the Generate Loads button, I want to make sure this checkbox is selected. This is what will instruct the program to generate repeat load cases instead of traditional load combinations. To complete this process, let's click on the Generate Loads button, and then we will click on the Add button. Once we're finished, let's go ahead and click Close. Now here in the load and definition dialog, I can see all of the load combinations that I just generated. The red L adjacent to each combination indicates that this is a repeat load and not a traditional load combination. With that in mind, I am ready to move on to the analysis step. To start your analysis process, we will select the analysis tab in the workflow page control area. Now for this particular workflow, I will be adding a perform P delta analysis command to the model. Now when I invoke the P delta analysis command, P large delta will automatically be included. These are the second order effects induced on a structure due to the movement of its mass under lateral loads. In addition to that, the P delta command also has the ability to include P small delta effects. These would be your second order effects caused by displacement of the member between its bracing points. Now when you're ready, you can go ahead and invoke your analysis command. To do that, you will select the define commands button within the analysis dialog. And this time I will select the P delta analysis option. Now, when specifying the P-delta analysis, you're going to enter either your number of iterations or ask the program to use the geometric stiffness method. Now, for this particular model, I will go ahead and perform an iterative solution for calculating the P-delta effects. 
we typically recommend anywhere from 5 to 25 iterations to ensure that your model converges. After entering the number of iterations, I can also ask the program to consider your P small delta effects, and I'll leave that checkbox selected for this exercise. Finally, I can review all the print options if I want any additional information added to the output file. Once I'm done, I can click the Add button and then click Close. Now at this point in my workflow, I'm ready to perform the analysis and review the results. I can also move on to the design phase of my workflow if I were performing the steel design directly in STAD Pro. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.